All right, let's determine if this would give us a one-to-one -one function. And yes, this one is a function because we can see right there that every x value has one specific y value. Now what that means as well is that let's say that we had another point in this one, two. That doesn't matter because it's still a one going to two. Fortunately for us though, it's, it's not there anyways. <coughs> All right, so let's check. So going backwards, if you got a 2 for your y value, you got a 1 for the x value. There's no other 2s there. Same with the 4s, the 6s, and the 7s. So not only is this a function, but it is 1 to 1. Now it says if, you, if it is 1 to 1, then we need to find its inverse function. So the way this is notated is that you'd have g of negative 1. That is not an exponent. That is just an indication that it's inverted, kind of as if it were reciprocated, right? So all we're going to do is reciprocate each of these points. Sorry, I forgot my fancy brackets. And I've got four of these points. Should I give myself more space? Then we'll close it with some fancy brackets. So the inverse means we're going to switch the x and y values. So I'd have 2, 1, 4, 3. 6, 5, and 7, 6. That has now been inverted. Okay, 